I would like to invite our uh, next speakers, and that's Krishna Nandan Prabhu and Bhagwati Kripa uh, Devidasi and Asamhita, as I, as I read on the name. So uh, the team here is going to talk to us about online uh, gurukulas. So it's, it just seems providential that I use the word gurukulas and today's time of time and age, mostly everything is happening online. So welcome you, Krishnanandan Prabhu, Bhagwati Kripa Mataji, my obeisances, and I request you to please take forward the discussion on uh, online gurukulas. A polite reminder to all the participants, please make it worthwhile for our speakers by posting your questions in advance. Uh, they will feel encouraged if you ask them, if you churn the topic a little bit. And also a reminder to our speakers, if you haven't tested, and I'm talking about the next speakers, if you haven't tested your technology, please, please test it with our team ahead of time. Uh, how to change your screens, how to be present simultaneously, so that uh, the talks uh, can be available even after the symposium. So over to you, Krishnanandan Prabhu and Bhagwati Kripa Mataji. Thank you, Prabhu, for the opportunity. Thank you, all the organizers. So as the name suggests, e Gurukula, and as Prabhu said, it's more of online. So before jumping into the topic, we would like to talk about the aim and the objective. The aim, as it suggests, like engaging the energy for the energy. Day. And how do we go about that? Is by channelizing the abilities of the children for the service of the Lord. So with this, as even in the previous, we saw like how Srila Prabhupada, our founder Charya's focus was on bringing up more of Gurukula projects and how he encouraged all his devotees to bring about this Gurukula. And then, of course, focusing on the outcome, particularly the content is the thing and the outcome, how the children become sober, upright citizens. So with that, I would like to move on to today's agenda. So we will be covering it in three parts. How it started. Basically, when I say how it started, I want to clarify what is e Gurukula and what is not e Gurukula, so that the different channels that we use in educating the children are clarified and then we can appreciate more on this e gurukul and then the second will focus on why e gurukul with all these different channels medium schools being like why e gurukul and the third part will be the content and the challenges that we face and how to overcome and how to go about carrying out this so i would focus on the how it started basically we are part of ISKCON Mira Roads Education and under guidance of our spiritual guide, His Grace Kamalachan Prabhuji, we started the Sunday School. So all of us are familiar with the Sunday School, which will be an hour of the children and it started from 2000. So the focus over here is to bring the students or the children attending the so-called education to the real education that we can get association of these weekly classes. This was welcomed by all the children. We got around 50 vacation camps in the, during 50 children during the vacation camp and 20 during the regular Sunday program. Then the next step was to expand the Sunday classes. So we trained in 2005, we started training teachers so that we can expand. And we came up to 30 plus teachers and we could cover 800 students within this Sunday classes and uh, vacation classes. And the focus was Bhagavad Gita and stories on Srimad Bhagavad. Now, the next step we wanted to achieve is while this continues to address the children attending the so-called education, we wanted to give a full-time opportunity to the children, the devotees who would like to have their education medium through 
our ISKCON. So this Narsima Institute of Children Education, which was focusing main on the Sunday classes, we expanded to Adagiridari Homeschool, where this homeschooling concept, as many of the devotees in ISKCON have already started for their children, this was a community school where we bring the volunteers, the teachers, and then the children who wants to carry out their complete education. So this was, again, the concept was taken with the National Institute of Open Schooling program that the government offers. And they don't have any constraint on what we teach. The basic criteria is we can have our own syllabus and follow their uh, basic five subjects. So that was what we started in 2017. So this continued for three years. And as all of us know, this was more of physical presence of the students full-time attending eight to 10 hours and uh, continue their education. So in 2019, when the current situation started where everyone has to go for online. So this school, anyway, we continued online. Apart from that, we wanted to know how to address the children going for the so-called education, how to bring them to Krishna conscious and how to give them more of the uh, our Krishna conscious curriculum to them. So this e-gurukula was started and particularly elite students. When I say that is like, as we will move on to the next part, we will see the hunger of the children and how to cater to that. So with this, I would like to move on to the next topic. What is, why e-gurukula? <laughs> Hare Krishna. Uh, so basically, uh, our motto is Prahlad Maharaj, uh, Kau Maharaj Acharit Pratyo. So Prahlad Maharaj, uh, whose uh, charitra, whose character is heard by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu minimum 100 times. So we are uh, trying to inculcate the values in the children, like uh, the qualities, like uh, Prahlad Maharaj had so many qualities. And apart from that, whenever he got time, he would always go and beat his classmates. And uh, we see, according to Srimad Bhagavadam, Devarshi Bhutata Nrinam Pitrina, that is by inculcating Krishna consciousness, the children achieve all the qualities. So basically by e Gurukul. Uh, like as we see that the present situation, uh, children are not able to come physically uh, to attend the classes. So this is the way where uh, they can, uh, their spiritual hunger is satisfied. Overall, the parents, uh, if you see around the world, they would like to have uh, the best of both the worlds. Basically, as far as academics is considered, they feel uh, the outside world, they get the best academics. So that is why uh, uh, this is one initiative so that we are satisfied that we are giving the children uh, spiritual education as uh, it was a desire of Srila Prabhupada that the children uh, grow in Krishna consciousness. And the children, as far as uh, uh, they are concerned, they are like blank slates. They can take whatever we give them. That depends on us what we are giving them. So as far as we are seeing the children, uh, uh, they, they need so much. Uh, uh, they can take in so much data, so much information. So that is why we, uh, like as uh, Prabhuji also said, we have the best things. In, uh, we have the best scriptures. So that's why we should train them right from the tender age that they can grasp in everything. And apart from that, there are parents. There are some parents. Like who want their ch uh, children to uh, be groomed in Krishna consciousness right from the very beginning, right from the womb actually, like how Prahlad Maharaj was groomed from the womb. So the same way uh, from childhood itself we should give. And one of the activities uh, through online sessions we keep is uh, the same thing. It is actually Krishna, Lord Krishna's past things. But for, for children... In different ways, through dramas, through puppet shows, and through cooking and art, we try to uh, make the children, uh, you know, enact or maybe bring out the pastimes, and they speak the pastimes in these different ways. And this is the way, right early, like how we adults have morning program, which is so essential for our uh, Krishna consciousness. Same way, this early morning chanting and uh, this uh, thing is very important for a child so that the whole day goes very nicely. <clears throat> 
ಅಂಡ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮಹಾಜನ ಏನ ಗತಸಂತ ಇ ಸಿ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೋ ಗೋರ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯೂ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಲ್ the 700 shlokas of bhagavad gita memorized each shloka and 18000 shlokas of shrimad bhagavatam and 11555 verses of chaitanya charitamrita and they could give commentary on each verse this was their caliber at the age of 7 so the, this is what we understand that the child is able to uh, of course uh, they are level is uh, the highest level but still we can try to give as much as we can because children are able to take uh that much and then fan the spark basically uh you are be give a platform where the kids can express themselves because the children the moment we start they want to uh, share so many things so uh, their art their talents so you are we give a, pl- a platform because what happens when they go in the outside world they are not able to express themselves with the wisdom they have so here we have uh, through all the different performances uh, we give them a platform that they can express themselves and then uh, we encourage them we appreciate them then what happens when the child is able to dive deep into that uh, respective uh, field in whatever they are good at so like uh, these are some of the things and then uh, about stories uh, uh, it's very i'll just uh, tell a story uh, once in a gurukul there there were two children they completed the education and then after that uh, uh, the guru said for guru dakshina you they said how can we serve you now so the guru said you go outside in the forest and get for me uh, a pile of dry leaves which nobody wants to use so the two uh, kids they went running in the forest and uh, they tried to find uh, they found a man had collected uh, a pile of dry leaves so they were about to take they were so happy that they were to give to the guru but what happened then so that man said hey don't take those i have kept those leaves because i will powder them and you use it as a manure for my field so then they couldn't take from that man and they went further uh, f- uh, further uh, they went a sparrow was uh, taking uh, there were a bunch of uh, leaves a sparrow was taking a leaf but then it was taking for making its nest so then uh, through its language it uh, conveyed that these i need i need these leaves for my nest so then uh, they didn't disturb the sparrow they went further they saw one dry leaf in uh, the pond they said okay we'll take this but then in that there were two ants and they said how can we cross the uh, pond without this dry leaf so then they were very sad that we are not able to serve our guru anyways they came back to their guru and then the guru said that uh, i'm very happy that uh, you came uh, you didn't disturb you understood that even a dry leaf it is uh, so important the same way uh, he wanted to teach the lesson to his students that this human body is so important please use it for krishna consciousness so this was the lesson and apart from that one very important note i would like to say is as soon as radhanath maharaj says that if a child sits on a vyasasana and speaks everybody listens so that is why uh, we should uh, taking the teachings of all these uh, great personalities uh this is a humble attempt to uh, impart education into children so moving ahead what do we do in igurukul in igurukul we focus on the ice inculcate involve and inspire so first of all we impart uh, uh, the knowledge the spiritual knowledge through scriptures they learn the shlokas and the bhajans written by vaishnava acharyas this this way we try to impart the knowledge to the children and not only the children memorize everything and take all the knowledge but we also want them to apply practically into their lives so for that uh, apart from the one hour which they spend in igurukul we also engage them in so many activities throughout the day so that whenever they get time they are involved in completing their activities their assignments along with their parents so and then the third is after they get involved like this they inspire others by taking such inspiration from guru parampara they uh, try to inspire and involve other children their friends and all the society so that they take this message forward 
to uh, what the now we we'll let us focus on the portion of what the syllabus we take in Igorukul. So first of all, shlokas. So we see here one of the parents, she wants her children to memorize all the shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. So she uh, she's uh, in case so nowadays we see that the parents they want their children to memorize all the Bhagavad Gita shlokas. So many children they are also expert in quoting Bhagavad Gita shlokas, they know the translations also. So like that, they are well versed in Bhagavad Gita shlokas. So something new and Igorkul, we want to uh, introduce them to even Srimad Bhagavatam shlokas so that they can. Uh, so what happens is we have divided the Igorkul into 12 sections. Prathama to Dwadasha. So in each section, we have prayers from Srimad Bhagavatam cantos. Like in the first section, Prathama, we have prayers from first canto Srimad Bhagavatam. In Vidya, we have prayers from second canto Srimad Bhagavatam. The prayers means though the prayers, like in the first canto, we have prayers by Queen Kunti, Sri Bhisma Stuti, Sanjay Pamaya, the, late, uh, the prayers offered by the ladies of Astinapur. And in second canto, we have Garbo Dakshistava. Like that, in each canto, there are prayers recited by devotees. So, by the, learning these shlokas, the children also get importance of offering prayers. And how do we teach them those prayers? By having colorful slides with pictures. And not only the memorization of shlokas, but also along with the meaning, the translation by Shriya Prabhupada. By that, they understand the meaning and how we should offer prayers to the Lord. And by this, each day, we take one verse. So this Igurukul goes on every day. So by one month, two months, they learn 30 to 60 verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. And we also have games and where we uh, put it as a challenge that you have to recite this verse. So for that, they start remembering, the, they start memorizing the shlokas. So like this day, I went to Srimad Bhagavatam Shlokas. And after Shlokas, the main uh, important part of a children class is stories. Children love to listen stories. And we know that nowadays parents are uh, more into uh, giving uh, uh, Krishna pastimes and Ramayana pastimes. Since childhood, early childhood, they have heard all those. So there is a tendency of some children when they come to the class that I already know Krishna pastimes. So we need to show that uh, the Lord's pastimes are unlimited. So in Igurukul, we focus because the children are, far, are of a high caliber and they can they can take so many stories. So even uh, stories of Brihad Bhagavad Amrita in a simple story form, like they understand the relationship between devotees, how uh, Gopakumar goes to higher planetary systems. So all that they can understand. And even the pastimes from Lalita Madhava and Vidagda Madhava, that they understand how uh, great are the pastimes of Lord Krishna. And we all can uh, also take a uh, daily schedule of Krishna. What does Krishna do at this time? So like this, uh, there is a book of Bhavana Sara Sangraha. In that, it is nicely given all the schedule of Lord Krishna, all the pastimes. So like this, they meditate on Lord Krishna's pastimes throughout the day. So this is uh, the story part of Igorukha. And uh, we also focus on Sanskrit. So Sanskrit is a very essential part to understand the scriptures. And all the every child, every parent is interested to uh, learn Sanskrit. So uh, first in uh, the Prathama Dutya stages, we teach them the basics of Sanskrit, like nouns, pronouns, and the grammar. Uh, the grammar can be taught, uh, taught based on Jiva Goswami's Hari Nama Vritvyakaran. So normal Sanskrit in some schools, they are already studying. But based on Chilla Jiva Goswami's book, uh, the children can grasp more easily. So the, he has nice, Jiva like Goswami has nicely given uh, words, the Lord's names for each uh, grammatical term. So that is that is how we can uh, teach them Sanskrit on the basis of scriptures. And uh, now I'll let like you show one example how we have uh, done with our students. This is, I'm playing a video. Hare Krishna. 
Today, the students of e Gurukul, Narsimha Institute for Children Education and Education Wing of Iskon Mira Road will be presenting another story in Sanskrit language. The story is How Krishna Kills Pinavrata. Pinavrata Saravadha. Eka Rakshasa Chakravata Sarupi Asti. Krishna. Krishna Chakravate in a great asti. Yes, oh, This is another, uh, those were smaller group of children. These are elderly group of children. It's called Mira Road. We'll be presenting a story in Sanskrit language. Have you, Payam? Mahabharata Vishayam. Adikritya ekam lagu katha prastapayamaha. Bhima senaha manjaneya hacha. Ekada pandava vanavada nirbandita. Asan te ramani eshu kana eshu nivasam akrivarna. Ekada draupadi vayuna anitam sundaram pushpam ekam apashyat. Tasya Pushpasya Gannam Agraya Amuhyat Tata Sa Draupadi Patti Bhima Sena Avadat Etaha Shani Ramani Yani Pushpani Bahuni Mahyam Anayato Iti Bhima Sena Ahmev Loki So like this we see that uh, they are uh, Learning Sanskrit, we uh, in Krishna's the Lord's past tense, they are narrating in Sanskrit line by line, and also in Sanskrit, uh, we focus on the chanda, finding the meter of the shloka. So we normally see that the children have memorized the Bhagavad Gita shlokas. Now we go deeper into the shlokas, like finding the what is the meter of the shloka. So like this, they uh, separate out the syllables and they find out the meter. So like this, the children learn more nicely the shlokas and then we also have special topics because shlokas but then the children want to learn new more new topics so we can also take geography so what you know real geography is from fifth canto of Srimad bhagavatam uh, the description of jambu dvipa and uh, all the planetary system the Bhuloka and what all islands mountains so they all have the geography uh, based on Srimad bhagavatam and yoga, nowadays we see that everybody is interested in yoga exercises and they use for sense gratification. So by teaching uh, in Igor Kul, the children, they learn how to uh, do yoga and use the energy for Lord Krishna. And many more such topics like uh, cow, uh, topics based on the importance of cow and astrology. And uh, we, we can, there is also a book that it uh, teaches about Vedic origin, how the Vedas uh, manifested, how the uh, origin of Sanskrit language. So like that, they know the importance of what they are learning. And apart from that, we also have music. Children like to sing. So we teach, uh, we can teach. Uh, there are so many Ashtaka, there are so many songs written by our Vaishnava Acharyas. And also the uh, daily Aarti, as the Srila Prabhupada has said, are... Uh, Full daily schedule of the temple. It, it is nice if the children know those songs. And uh, also some special songs like Shri Dashavatara Stuti written by Srila Vadi Raja Tirtha. That song is difficult and it is untwisting to pronounce, but it is uh, children can learn it more easily and it is uh, uh, scientifically proven to be good for their intelligence also. So like that songs uh, we teach. And apart from that, as we, from the starting, we told many activities, like online itself, dramas, puppet shows. So the whole parents are also involved in making the puppets. So like this, we involve the whole family and uh, storytelling. So uh, we have uh, near uh, and around Janmashtami Day, we have storytelling. So we assign each pastime for one one child. So the child speaks on this uh, not pastime. So like this, uh, they are presentation skills also improve and they are involved in learning those. Uh... Hare Krishna. So thank you uh, so much. Uh, could we please take some questions now? Yes, yes, probably. So uh, 
Shri Yashoda Devidasi would like to know if this option for online Gurukul is also available for other different time zones around the world. Essentially, can they participate for some of the pro classes because they may be in another time zone or not? Yes. We would like to uh, uh, expand this e -gurukul. So if they we can contact, uh, they can also start e -gurukul for their uh, centers. So we would like to share the syllabus, the portion, and uh, all the materials and whatever we do so that if when we share, they can also start. Thank you. Uh, uh, and clearly many devotees would like to have your contact details. So if you can please also post them on the chat forum so that devotees can be in touch with you and probably help, as you just said, expand it in other parts of the world. Another question has been, is this initiative same as the Sandipani school? Um, uh, Sandipani yes. school seems to be a full-time Gurukul, whereas this we are just adding to what they are so-called education as. So this is like a one hour every day morning program. Before they go okay, to that, that's a very helpful clarification. So this is a one hour every day morning program, devotees. Some, some devotees like me, they would have gotten an impression from the presentation that you're engaging children throughout the day. Therefore, the question around time zone, etc. So uh, it's a one hour every day morning program. It's complementing what may be happening at Sandipani school. Uh, thank you. Uh, the next question, which is posted in uh, the chat, not in the Q&A, but I'll take it up. At what age is this e-gurukul starting for students? The age group can be 6 to 13, uh, best age group. But if smaller children are able to grasp and elder children want to join, it is open. But the best age group is 6 to 13. So the preferred age group is age uh, 6 to 13, and uh, others are also welcome to join. So on that note, uh, I'd like to thank Krishna Nandan Prabhu, Bhagavad Kripa Mataji, and uh, Samhita Mataji. Uh, devotees and participants, I think we per perhaps just had the youngest presenter or speaker to our symposium just now and very well presented very encouraging to see your involvement there thank you and so unless any other team is able to bring forth uh, somebody who's younger uh, we shall crown you the youngest uh, speaker uh, more so because of looking at your enthusiasm in spreading education very very grateful and, and i presume that you're the daughter of uh, the devotees who are sitting next to you yes, sir. Uh, and uh, also want to thank uh, the parents i i remember going back what was it maybe about 10 12 years downloading these stories on the on the alvars which my young daughter at that point still heard and now having heard your voice bhagavad kripa mataji i would be Mis not be mistaken to to be cor correct me if I'm wrong. It was you who compiled those stories, and you would Prabhuji, teach them. And, uh, actually, is Grace Vaishna Seva Prabhuji uh, who uh, who's uh, running the Iskon Desire Tree. He encouraged me that uh, Mataji, what you're doing, if you record and uh, share it in the website, everybody around the world can use it. So then because he encouraged me, I started uh, uh, recording whatever classes I used to take and I used to share. Yeah, I realized that. And, and I remember now hearing that as well. Uh, and of course, it would be a miss because we, we heard you tell another beautiful story today. So uh, we wish you all the best in your uh, project. And I hope that many devotees will be in touch with you 
for promoting e gurukul there is a very very strong need in today's time and age for these online learning programs the ministry uh, collaborated a year ago year and half ago with the avanti schools in the uk and we do have a ability to provide everyone a curriculum which you can use in your sunday schools in your uh, in your daily routine to complement the education that your children have if you like to use that be in touch with us it's structured from reception all the way to grade 9 and can be utilized it's a self paced program so much like the e gurukul that has been conducted there are many other programs another one that comes to my mind and the Uh, the founders of that program are online right now prana prabhu and krishnendu prabhu who established bhakti learning which allows you to engage on the computer and go through the program as well so very important topic and very happy uh, to have you here and with that note and thanking you three hari krishna